Quite a while ago, we played China while using Space Marines. And you know what? That was pretty strong. But today, I want to take this even further. So this time, we're going to play China and only use Tank Division. And it's actually going to be pretty hard. Because we get attacked by the Japanese very early on. But thanks to a few tricks you guys gave me under my last China video, I think we can do this. So without further ado, Iron Man, historical, and go. So let's just say we don't start with the biggest industry. 11 mils, that is... Not not too little, but it is not enough for tank production, especially with a very militarized Japan next to us. And we play on historical, so we have around one year before the attackers. Yeah, that's not a lot of time. So to start off, I'm gonna build a lot of mills in the inner areas of China, because at least temporarily, we will lose land over here. But let's talk about the strat later. Technology-wise, let's start with the truck, because I can't build pure tank divisions. I need something mobile in there, and I will not allow myself to use horses. And on top of that, let's get some tank research done. I will not research the tank just yet, because we will unlock a free tank template. But if we don't have trucks research yet, which we don't, we need this truck, the second truck. We get a template with horses instead of motorized in it. That's not good. So I'm going to wait to research the truck, and then we research the tank for the free division. So until then, let's get all the other stuff. Focus-wise, we will need a lot of army tradition. So I'm going to start with Military Affairs Commission or a juicy army experience gain, because we have modifiers that are really not good. Especially army corruption, which gives us minus 30% mobilization speed, attack and defense. Just straight up over all the missions, 30%. That is a lot. That is a lot, a lot. And we will feel that. We can repair that later with army reforms, but for that we need a lot of army experience. So this first focus is very important. Production wise, I'm going to build a lot of toad artillery and toad anti air right now because I want to supplement my divisions with that. And later on, I will need all the mills for tanks. So I'm going to build that right now. Well enough, guns, we don't really need. Like, we will have a very specialized tank force, which means we will need way less guns than we would normally do. And before we can start the game, I will not forget about it again. Let's delete our entire army. We don't have a single tank division, so I can't keep any of it. And yes, I'm going to use the standard rule that only counts as a tank division when it's over 50% hardness and only uses tank, motorized, or mechanized battalions. And yes, I'm allowed to use support however I want. That doesn't Okay. okay, I want to at least have something. That That is, give me that, please. Please. And we're not using it at all, but just to be on the safe side, no garrison. We don't have tanks. Yes, we garrison with tanks here. It's not fun. And now with everything out of the way, let's start. And while we wait for the first focus to finish, I'm gonna create an intelligence agency. Because yeah, we're gonna need it. Why? I'll show you later. For now, just know it's gonna be important. The agency is created, and the first focus is completed. As for our second focus, I'm gonna rush down to get those mills down here. Because we we need way more mills, as I said before. And yeah, we don't even have time for the research slot. That's just not in right now. So unified industrial planning, let's go. And here we go. We can take our first agent. And that's basically all we need. We just need one agent. And for that, we need an agency. So yeah, we lost like five sifts for a little bit. But trust me, this agent will be worth it. What we're going to use it for, you will see in a bit. But yeah, we need her. And I tend to forget about her. So we did it now. The early truck is done. So let's get the truck. And because we have the political power, very important, I'm going to get myself the army offense expert for more division attack and more taking army experience gain. Very important. We need so much army experience and this guy's gonna be so helpful. And yes, we take attack bonuses because tanks are not meant for defense, okay? I've developed a very wild strategy for this video but you will see that later. So two focuses later, we're now at mining commission and here you see the big problem with our focus tree. A lot of economic focuses increase our inflation and inflation is really bad. We lose factor and we lose factory output. Both very painful. But in this case, to get three mils, it's actually very worth. Even though we will go to high inflation, which is gonna be so bad, but we don't really have a choice. So we're about to get the truck. So I'm gonna start researching the light tank now. Trust me, we saved a lot of arm experience here because it's cost like 25 arm experience to get trucks in. Yeah, we, we really wanna use it for something else and doing it this way is actually pretty good. And our industry does build other stuff right now. We will need trucks. So actually building them a lot right now is not stupid. And what you can also see right now is that we really don't need to build guns. By deleting our entire army, we got like 27k guns. And I doubt we ever will need more guns than that. Through the entire game, we will have a very specialized, small, strong tank army. And they will not need more than 27k guns. Anyways, mining commission is done. Let's develop the Hanyan arsenal. Yeah, I probably budget that, but I'm not Chinese, okay? I think I don't work. So we have 150 political power and we're going to meet 
immediately invested into partial mobilization. Very crucial for building mills and building them even faster. This should speed this up actually a lot, a lot. And even better news, the truck is done. So we are really now free to research the light tank. If you want to be even more efficient than me, you could actually free research the light tank and then just do the last few days when you got the truck. Yeah, I'm a bit late here, but still, it would be all in time. I'm just going to get myself the radio real quick because they make the tanks way stronger. So let's get there too. And while I can't build tanks, I'm actually just going to build trucks. We will need a lot of them anyways for supply and for the divisions themselves. So to build more of them now and less later. Might need to import a little bit of rubble though. The arsenal has been developed and with the mills now in our hand, I'm going to get myself the research slot. Yeah, we have two research slots. I do want to have it now. It would be maybe wiser to fix inflation a little bit over here now, which is what we're going to do next. But yeah, there's a few technologies we really need, especially in the production part of the research. And without that, I feel like we have even worse effects on us long term. So yeah, let's get that. At the same time, we're also about to reach the next year. So I'm going to use my spy and send her into Japan, but not to build an internet network. No, we're going to do diplomatic pressure because if we have high diplomatic pressure and good relations, which we'll get next, we can actually ask for a non-aggression pact. That would basically buy us a year, a lot of time, basically, that we definitely need. So let's do that. So we could get the non-aggression pact right now. But you know what? I don't want to take it just yet because if we take it right now, they would be able to cancel it sooner. But if we take it right around when they get the war goal, not after, but before, we would get the maximum time out of this. So for now, I'm going to wait until I see a funny message that tells me that someone declares war on me very soon. Then I will click it soon. So we got the research slot. Let's fix our economy. Financial policy or a nice advisor. And the research will go into production. I, I really need it. <laughs> I want to build faster. So we've gotten the tank. I'm going to immediately research the next one. But we should definitely build our first version. And here we go. Our first light tank. Not the best, but also not the worst. Let's build it. I'm going to pour almost my entire industry into this one tank. Because we will need a lot of those tanks. So yeah, that's the reason why players don't play tanks with China. It's very expensive. So we got an invitation. And this event is actually very important. With this event chain, we will form the Chinese United Front. And because our army is very small, right now composes of zero men, we will need some friends. So getting the Chinese United Front is crucial. Because especially in the beginning, we will need someone to stop the Japanese. So yes, we go. An alliance with the communists. Perhaps he's right. And now everyone wants to join our glorious alliance. I mean, everyone in China. That isn't under the Japanese, of course. Anyways, let's fix our economy even more. And we get this event chain because Japan starts to do the fun focuses. Because if you look up here, you see Japan is currently justifying against us. And it's a 70-day focus, which is perfectly timed with our focus. So shortly before I'm done, I will just do the non-aggression pack. That should give me the maximum time. And while this is going on, I'm going to get myself the military theorist for minus 10% land doctrine cost. And right after that, switch over to mobile warfare. Because if you use tanks, we are going to use them right. But if you want to experience the real tank only challenge, then you will love today's sponsor, World of Tanks. Control your favorite World War II tank in this free-to-play warfare themed multiplayer game and rush into the battlefield with a style of your choosing. No matter if it's gun blazing, a well-coordinated ambush, or best of all, waiting in spawn until all your teammates left so they get hit first and you can easily steal the kills. I personally use the waiting time to enjoy the god tier soundtrack. Engage in massive battles controlling your favorite tanks, doesn't matter if it is an artillery tank, a medium or heavy tank, and my arch nemesis, the tank destroyer. But for people with high levels of ADHD like me, I recommend the light tank for reasons. Enjoy a wide range of battle arenas which include terrain like open fields, climb steep hills, sneak through forests, and my personal favorite, post-Brexit Britain. Upgrade your tank with useful parts like better engines, turrets, and radios, or be a true giga chat and waste all your credits on repair kits and learn to hit those hotkeys faster than a true speedrunner ever could. So what are you still doing here? Send some love to the sponsor and click the link right now. And new players, you even get a Cromwell B, 7 days of premium, 250k credits and 3 rental tanks for 10 battles each if you use the code COMBAT. So see you in the game, I'll be the guy damaging my own tank before I even reach the battlefield. So we're days away from finishing our focus, let's get the non-aggression pact. Japan says yes and we are safe for basically a few more months. So let's not give them anything and just, you know, continue building tanks because there's nothing we can do right now. I love how they just watch at each other as I just signed a document that they're legally not allowed to attack me. So we fix the economy by a little bit, bring us down to low inflation again. Very good. What I'm going to do next is get myself the two free civilian factories over here. And yeah, that's it's pretty good. It's two factories for free. Why not take 
And even better, the new light tank has been researched. So even more research into industry. The new light tank is a go. And it's actually not that much more expensive. Like 0.3 more. Pretty good. But stat-wise, way better. And because we have enough army experience, let's get motorization drive. It is pretty good. And you should take it for every tank only challenge. Or if you just like using tanks. Because it basically makes it free to customize your tank templates. That is just really good. Let's use it. With that out of the way, let me just delete my divisions real quick. You didn't see anything. Add tank here. All divisions gone. You saw nothing. Let's build our tank division. And you know what? That seems pretty good. It has over 50% hardness and it's also very fast. I hope we can make it even faster. You know what? I want to make it even faster. Let's get improved engine. So we got the factories. Let's reform our government. Three principles of the people. Five stability. I'll take that. And yeah, now that I started building them, yeah, we're missing a lot of tanks. We need like 360 tanks per division. Yeah, that will take a while. This is why we kind of need the bonus year because normally we would already be at war with the Japanese and that wouldn't end well. It just wouldn't. But on the side, our industry is growing and the construction efficiency is also going up. So we're getting there slowly but surely. And because I like political power, let's do democracy. Not for any democratic support or anything. No, for political power. Because why would we get any of that with that focus name? Nah, that's cringe. Political power. That's cool. And this side, I'm gonna make the tank a bit faster. And yeah, we're really catching up in industry. Even tank-wise, it looks pretty good. Infantry equipment, nah, it's okay. Don't ask about planes. But yeah, overall, it's looking pretty good. But are we ready for a war? No, not at all. The beginning is gonna be painful. We're still missing around a thousand tanks. <laughs> it is pretty bad. Anyways, let's get some extra political power because later on, we will need a lot of political power. And to make our tanks even faster, let's get maneuver warfare. Hey, look at that. Our first tank is done. I'm gonna use my most offensive skill leader and combine it with my strongest offense, field marshal. I'm also gonna give them motorized supply because, yeah, it's China. Our supply is not great, but we have trucks now, so that's pretty good. And look at our fast boy. <laughs> He's so fast. I love it. So the political power focuses are done, and I have the feeling that Japan can attack me very soon, so let's get army reform, allowing us to sacrifice army experience for a better military. We're basically getting rid of army corruption, because, yeah, it, it's not fun. I wasn't wrong. Like, a few days later, they declared war. Very important right now. Don't click OK. Let the game be paused and click call all allies. You will need your friends to help you. I right now have one tank division ready and four more being done soon. TM? Like, <laughs> it will take a little bit longer. Yeah. What we can do is support our defense for a little bit and kind of keep those troops ready for incoming naval invasions. Basically, what we want to do now is farm army experience and kind of buy ourselves time until we're done with our reforms. Because right now, our tanks are very useless. Soon, they will be very good. Yeah, talking about naval invasions, just here the first one right there. Okay, let's go. Unfinished tank divisions. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I promise. Yeah, they landed, but they also didn't really got anything. So I guess that's a win. Let's get the one completed tank division down and fight this. So let's attack. And yeah, we actually, we're actually getting that. We were about to reinforce, but yeah, no, by Japan. That was a good response. I'm gonna keep two divisions down here and two divisions over here because losing this port is very painful. And yeah, I hope that's good enough. The other tank I'm just gonna send into here to be a little bit more helpful with holding that because yeah, I really don't want the Japanese to gain more land yet. And just as a heads up, right now I'm using this tank division. I didn't really change a lot. Just added support artillery for a little bit more punch, but besides that, not a lot. Armor reforms is done, so let's get some stability. On top of that, we just got enough war support to get total mobilization, which funnily enough will bring us into negative recruitable population because right now we have volunteer only giving us 1.5 and total mobilization has minus 3%, but we have a lot of stability right now, so we can probably supplement that with women in the workforce. Yeah, we need a little bit more stability, but now I just see we actually need more war support, not stability. I mean, we could get radio propaganda, and yeah, that's enough. Beautiful. Sure, I'll take it. I love clicking buttons, okay? They just work. Never disappoint me. Oh, big naval invasion over here. Thanks. Come up. I am summoning you. Yeah, those battles are actually really hard, and it's really mostly because of army corruption. This modifies really bad. Even an encircled unit takes way too long to get crushed. But we did it. So women in the workforce, let's do it. We lost five stability, but we don't lose manpower anymore, which is kind of worth it. We get like 10 stability back, so it's really not that bad. And we're really catching up with tanks now. We nearly got everything. Wow. We built eight tanks a day nearly. Wow. There was like three tanks a few months ago. That is wild. Anyways, let's build more tanks. And you know what? Because I want to have a few friends in life, let's do a mission to the Soviet Union. And this tank over here actually gets really skilled at the moment. So here we go. Next day, 
stable landing can we hold out yeah we actually can if our allies came to our help that is huge give me free army experience now it is very tempting i know but don't do doctrines you need the army experience to be precise 100 of it to do army reforms if you don't do this before that your doctrines will be useless i'm also noticing my fuel is like very low so uh, i might need to buy a little bit over here from the soviets thank you very much oh naval invasion it didn't even take a port this time what the fuck? what is going on here uh but they do be spreading out fast we gotta clean this up and first army reform go taking 90 days and reducing the modifier by one third so yeah we gotta do this like three more times so yeah fun hey we got a new tank up to six tanks now let's go slowly but surely we're actually having an army <laughs> very slowly but yeah the japanese broke through here but so far the coast is safe this is so much micromanagement but ironically i'm having fun this is not unfunny this is not pure pain this is actually fun i know cringe right anyways let's buy soviet tanks which we probably can't use because they're pretty bad but i'm not gonna say no to tanks so let's get that you know what they say a free tank is a free tank sun tzu trust me out of war but i do kind of love six thousand losses and the japanese have 200k to me it's so wild i do be sacrificing my allies a lot here but i still do the most damage so we bought the tanks let's hire a soviet designer giving us plus 100 percent research bonus for armor technology pretty good and the first armor reform is done and i have to say i feel it my tanks are actually already performing way better even in defense we're holding this river now thanks to two tanks here uh, that is wild talking about wild naval invasion time let me just drop these here so naval invasion is encircled we got the port back but on the bad news the entire north collapsed because they i sent most of the troops down but i feel like if we get rid of those troops it will actually be worth it because the trick of japan is that you kind of want to reduce the units bit by bit they are very strong and they don't really have a debuff at least not for long so they have a huge punch against you but their troops are very much not replaceable so whatever you get rid of it hurts them so what we are doing now is stalling for time and reducing the army bit by bit and long term this works amazingly you see there's like at least 30 divisions down here a large amount they will miss this on the front line they can't sustain it even if they push all the way over here they will not be able to hold this because you see already there's like one division per tile they are really thinned out here so once i get my tanks ready we're gonna be the hunters and they are gonna be the prey goodbye i actually want to do this more slowly i have very high tank losses right now and i have a little fuel problem so uh, maybe let's buy more from the soviets talking about them we hide the soviet designer giving us a very good mio that we can actually use now because before we had the sino german technical mission which seems great on paper until you notice all of these buffs over here are heavy tanks and yeah actually tried on heavy tanks for this run and it just doesn't work but the soviet designer is fast tanks and i'm all about fast tanks so let's do that so i'm gonna queue it up like that if you didn't know shift left click you can put stuff in your queues and mios pretty useful and next focus i'm gonna get myself the experimental mechanized unit giving us a division with light tanks and motorized the division is pretty bad but we can use the trucks and the tanks so let's get it and let's finally encircle the japanese they're pretty screwed over here goodbye this actually gave me enough army experience to once again an armor reform and while we wait for that let's play with the japanese actually don't even have units at the front line what is this oh they did a naval invasion uh where is it oh, it's down here i'm not actually gonna go over here because fighting this is dreadful yeah that's not my terrain i want to fight it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna continue to fight over here in the flatlands and let my allies deal with that i would just lose way too much tanks right now and i'm still very much in a deficit so yeah i wouldn't do that they can't be fast about this anyway so it really doesn't matter let them have that naval invasion i don't care i'm just encircling the japanese again and again and again this is just so good and my tanks are so fast it is wild i just see their tank actually encircling himself very good i approve of this and yeah in the background the second world war started we are pretty early si why is there a Kali spain i've never seen it in historical what is going on here why do i have a Kali spain <laughs> what is this oh it's kind of cool i want to see them win so japanese tank is gone let's clean up this tip over here by the way my allies are also in circle what the japanese are very understaffed now that is actually wild i mean i guess they have a lot of stuff over here but even here they're very understaffed i must have encircled a lot of units already without thinking about it and my last tank is also done that's also pretty good we actually have like 12 tanks now that is good missing 700 which is not a lot for 12 tank divisions so yeah let's clean up and don't forget we're not even close to finish armor reforms we're still very much in a weakened state and our tank divisions are winning and that's another nice encirclement actually too very good this war starts very scary but once you get the hang of it you kind of just dominate with tanks and yeah i gotta say my allies 
allies have this pretty much under control. I don't need to deal with this. That's pretty good. So I will just continue to do damage over here. Getting back my industry. And I want to fuel again. So we got the experimental mechanized unit. Pretty good. What I'm going to do now is get four loans. This will allow us to either improve our economy every time we get new loans through these amazing economic reforms. It's pretty annoying. But we will need it for later. And this division actually has a lot of experience. So maybe I can convert it into my division and it will keep most of the experience. That would be huge. Because if you didn't know, experience mostly has to do with the men in the army, not the equipment. So it should add 3,000 more men, which means they should keep a lot of the experience here. So they're fully filled with troops and yeah, they kept a lot of the experience. They are nearly level up to regular. That's huge. So let's take back a supply up. We actually overrun the enemy. That is so good. Uh, our divisions are so fast. I know I said it so many times, but it's actually wild how fast they are. I'm impressed. They're even so fast. Game didn't even recognize we took this tile. Come on, stand for a second. Good. And the Japanese run out of men. So what do they do? Another naval invasion. Wow. Let's just deal with that really quick. They don't even guard the ports anymore. Oh, they actually got reinforcements. Very sad. That is two pockets. Very good. I would say that's the naval invasion dealt with. Yeah, the speed really helps. Can I actually use the speed to reconquer these ports? Is that possible? That would be huge. By the way, I never upgraded my general. So armor expert and panzer expert. Gonna also immediately employ him for another 10% attack and defense. <laughs> that is wild. Also regrouping could be good. And also earlier I got myself an army logistics expert, which I think helped a lot with attrition. In China, these guys are actually lifesavers. And by the way, the answer is yes, I can get the ports back pretty easily. And that's the south cleaned up. I also immediately heard a naval invasion sound when it was done. So yeah, but it's like three divisions that do that. It's not a lot. So should be done fast. Yeah, they don't even guard the ports anymore. That is not hard. So naval invasions are cleaned up. I would say let's reconquer China. But before we do that, something we both very enjoy. Let's look at the losses. I lost around 50k, which is really not a lot. And Japan lost around 600k just to me. What? Yeah, that's a lot. But let's not lose any time and push. And yeah, they don't have any divisions anymore to hold the entire front line. So this has become very easy. I was encircled all of the north right now. That is so many divisions gone. That is so bad for them. No, Cali Spain, they're losing. No. I'm getting so much industry from this. I already have so much tank factories right now. This is huge. Why, Japan? Why? You really don't have the divisions for that anymore. Why would you do that? Anyways, let's finish off this encirclement over here and then go down. And let's also do the final army reform. Encirclement is gone. Let's go down. And you know what? Let's renegotiate the unequal treaties. This doesn't really do anything. We can remove free trade, but it's actually not that bad for the research bonus. And it's not like we have a lot of resources anyway. So this kind of seems more important than it actually is in the focus treaties. I don't know. Would be cool if you get like a construction buff here for unified China with stability. But yeah, the treaty doesn't do anything. It's not that good. Anyway, South cleaned up. And yeah, I actually cleaned up this naval invasion over here. I didn't even help with that. Uh, let's get the rest of China. They nail them with it again. And this time with like one <laughs> dude. I really hate them for that. They just want to be annoying at that point. It is dreadful. But anyways, with this over here done, let's get a new research slot. Pretty damn good. Yeah, and I love how Japan just doesn't guard the ports anymore. So this is actually very easy to take now. Ah, great. Also over here. Ah, yes, Japan. Carlos Spain is gone. I would have loved to see them succeed. That would have been actually funny. But nope, Japan had to do naval invasions. Thanks, Japan. So Korea is cleaned up. Now we kind of only need to deal with a few Manchu remnants. Japan offers a peace offer. The war has been won. Actually pretty good. It's 1940. It felt way longer than that, but that was fast. Well, that actually was really fast. I mean, I'm not a pro player or anything, but for me, finishing this in 1940 is really fast. And it actually took me longer because all of these naval invasions down here. So you could probably probably do this even faster. That is wild. But you know what? We haven't unified China yet. So let's do that. But yeah, we gained a lot of industry from that. That was huge. So we got the research slot. So let's do one China policy. And doing this now is actually very important because later on, this focus will be bypassed. And there's no other focus that gives us a war goal against all the Chinese warlords and makes us leave the Chinese United Front. That is important. Everyone else will stay inside the Chinese United Front, but we will leave. Meaning that communist China and Xinjiang can't join the common turn, which they love to do. So, yeah. Okay, um, 
this happened right now. I'm fighting communist Chinese and you know what? I have to stop this focus now because as soon as I leave the Chinese United Front, they will join the common turn. Source, do trust me. I guess in the meantime, we can try to get closer to the fifth research law. So let's do welfare. Lost around 69 days here. Not very nice. And the war is won. Yeah, that was not that hard. It was some work, but not that hard. I just wanted to avoid the mountains, so I really baited them out. Took a while, but you know, wasn't hard. So let's do subjugate the warlords. Basically asking everyone to be my puppet, and I hope Xinjiang says yes, because if not, they will just join the common turn, and that's not good. I, I actually looked into the conditions, and yeah, they changed nothing. The only real modifier they have is if you have dwarfed them, but that's kind of obvious, so yeah. And one last time, let's build a tank. And because we finally have a little bit of peace, and we caught up in tanks, let's upgrade to advanced light tanks. Pretty good. And pretty fast. Actually, doesn't need to be that fast. It's actually pretty wild. Only two nations said no. And that's Xibai Sama and Shangxi. So, you know what? Let's kick them from the faction right now. And, yeah, attack them in a second. Actually, got three puppets out of this. And very important, I got Xinjiang. That is huge. Because them being communist makes them very likely to join the common turn. And that's also why I saved all of that political power. Because it is very expensive to integrate all of this. So, yeah, let's start with that. Integrate the army. Costing us 150 political power. And we have to wait 90 days. And Japan decided to have different fun. Good luck, Japan. So, the truce is gone. Let's go into Shanxi. And our tank divisions actually perform really well. What is going on here? I actually thought this will be hard because it's mountainous. But no. Just no. Half of the army already encircled. Beautiful. Wouldn't want it any other way. Yep, that was fast. Now let's visit the next warlord. I'm also going to increase my conscription law by a little bit. Because I have zero manpower. Women in the workforce expired at the end of the Japan war. Yeah, it should help a lot. And I am not aligned, so I can only do this now. Yeah, that will help. It does feel kind of weird to go to extensive conscription with China, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's more like how I imagined it. No supply and fighting in mountains is basically impossible with tanks. Ah, oh, beautiful. And because we can do it, let's fully integrate the Guangxi clique. Yeah, time has passed and I did all of the reforms over here. So let's get the last research slot. Kind of crashing our economy a little bit, but what won't we do for science? So the Guangxi clique has been integrated. Let's delete all of the troops because uh, they're not tanks. Let's use the entire economy to build more tanks. At the same time, I finally finished the construction of a supply up, which did take forever. But without supply, I just can't push here. So yeah, let's do that. And yeah, I'm actually pushing now. It, it is wild how much supply in this game is now. Oh my god. And yep, that was basically it. Just took the city one. Wow. Take everything and done. Already looking way better. And yes, this was very painful to do with tanks. This was actually very bad. So, we got the research slot. Now let's get Tibet. Oh, Tibet. Bad choice. Very bad choice. Goodbye, Tibet. It's actually very fast. <laughs> what is going on? And yeah, they're gone. Oh my god. Delicious. So, United is integrated too. Let's delete the army. And it means only one warlord left. But not for long. But anyways, let's ask Japan for subjugation. And yeah, they, they will probably say no. They never say yes to this. I know there's a very little chance, but uh, no. And while we wait for that, let's take Korea. Yeah, that's a pretty fast war. Light tanks are just so fast, it's wild. Taking everything, very good. Yeah, Japan says no. That was kind of obvious, but would have been fun. Anyways, let's take Indochina. Actually bringing me to war of the Axis. I guess this time we have to be the good guys. Let's go. We got immediately the peace out event. No, I don't want to release Korea. Thank you very much. Oh, this game is beautiful. Man, the tanks are just so wild. It's like nothing. I don't even have an air force. Did I ever say that? I never researched anything over here. This is just pure tank power here. I don't care what they have in the air. I, I really don't care. I just rush through them. And before I forget about it, I should actually get some garrison. I mean, it's going to be expensive because those are tanks, but yeah, it's better than nothing. And you gave me some advice last time that I should do pure tank divisions for guard because they are harder to penetrate and get less damage. So I'm gonna try it out. Gonna use this tank only division to basically just guard my entire states. Let's see how it works out. Probably not well and I'm missing like 2,000 tanks now. Uh, so Indian China is cleaned up. Very good and also very resourceful. I wanna try out something stupid. So let's try a naval elevation. Okay, it doesn't work just yet because I have a lot of ships in here. Uh, but maybe in the future. Oh, by the way, Italy just broke apart. I mean, I guess that's good for me. 
I'm fighting against him, so yay. I also just integrated Sing Kiang, so yeah, that's China United, I would say. Pretty good. And because I have nothing better to do, let's get level 10 infrastructure in all of China. No more supply problems, for I have spoken. I don't care that infrastructure does very little to supply, okay? Let me have this dream. Hey, Turkey, welcome to the crew. Let's go. Yeah, I'm pretty cleaning up in Siam right now. That's actually pretty good. And Siam has capitulated. Very nice. This over here cleaned up. Uh, the naval invasion didn't really burn. At least not yet. We'll see. Maybe they put the navy in for a second and we can go out. But yeah, it is kind of RNG with Japan. You know what? Let's turn a division into mechanized. Making it a bit slower, but way more armored. And look at that. The naval invasion is out. And I'm not sure if it will go through because I prepared a second one, which weakened this one. But we shall see. Oh my god, there are so many Japanese in Japan. But I know a naval invasion is possible now, so I'm stubborn about this. Naval invasion, let's go. So many submarines here. There's <laughs> so many submarines here. Oh, but second naval invasion also go. Let's go. I don't really know, So much time has passed. And if you like, how much time has actually passed? I'm building nuclear reactors now. I have a plan B for this. <laughs> I have a big plan B for this. Oh my god, I might actually need my plan B. This is ridiculous. There's like Japanese everywhere on every province. Okay, plan B. And would you look at that? We got a new toy and already built a good amount of reactors. So let's try out our new toy. Goodbye. And while we wait for Japan, let's go for a little bit of a side quest while we have nothing to do. It's actually going pretty good. I'm surprised. And naval landing should be successful. Look at that. We landed in Okinawa. This was way too hard. Okay, the Japanese for some reason put the planes away and I guess all over Korea. So uh, let's use this opportunity to reduce the air force and also the industrial capabilities. Let's go. And yeah, it's Germany gone. There's nothing really I can take. What a beautiful peace conference as always. Of course. Who doesn't remember what Barcelona got just... Oh, I just wanted to make a stupid joke and then I saw that. That's no more independence movement. Wow. <laughs> There's so many Japanese here. Yep, that happened. Okay, huge. We landed. Actual huge. And we are in Tokyo. Very good. This was painful, by the way. <laughs> I'm not gonna overplay this. This was actually painful. But with that airport out of the way, we should have enough air dominance to unlock the fun arsenal. So goodbye, Japanese army. Oh, I'm not the only one throwing nukes here, apparently. That wasn't me. Uh, okay. And here we go. P3 time. I got actually the most points. It's pretty, pretty good. So P3 is over. I puppeted the entirety of Japan, took parts of the Navy directly for me, and also took some stuff just for myself, like all of Siam and Indochina. I would say this was a very successful run. I had a lot of fun. And don't forget about today's sponsor, World of Tanks, and use my code COMBAT to get nice bonuses. These were my templates. My patrons, I love you. Until next time, bye.